Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and I'm gonna to talk to you today about just some of the most exciting research on meditation. A Nobel Prize winning scientist, her name was Elizabeth Blackburn, did research on the protective caps on our chromosomes called telomeres. Every time our cells divide, they wear out, and over time get shorter, and they're a metric for the aging process. Then she said, okay, so the longer the telomeres, the more youthful you are, the shorter they get over time with wear and tear, the more aged you are. She said, what happens if we measure people under a lot of stress? What happens, does it accelerate, does it accelerate the aging process? She took 58 women, half were highly stressed, half were not, and she found that people that were highly stressed had much shorter telomeres to the tune of about a decade, 10 years of accelerated aging. It was phenomenal. She actually eventually won the Nobel Prize based on that research. Then she said, well, what happens if does that accelerated aging predispose them to health concerns? She found out the answer was yes. Many studies started coming in. In one group of elderly men, they were three times as likely to die over a nine-year period of time if they had shorter telomeres from a cardiovascular issue. Another group were twice as likely to get diabetes uh, over a period of time if they had shorter telomeres. The, the uh, articles that I cite with this researcher in the article associated with this video. So please go read this, this, uh, these articles and read this research, it's just phenomenal. So then she said, okay, we know that when you're aging, that when, that when you get old, your telomeres get short. When you get sick, your telomeres get short. When you get stressed, your telomeres get short. What would happen if we mitigated stress? And she then decided to measure meditation. Now, for a Nobel Prize winning scientist to me measure study meditation is extremely rare. It's considered you know, very controversial. She took a lot of heat for measuring something as non-scientific as meditation. We gotta give her a lot of credit for going down this road. Very few scientists would do what she did, but what she did was she took a group of uh, a group of people, 30 people, and we had them go on a three month meditation course compared to a group that were on the wait list for such a course. And she found that the telomerase activity, telomerase is an enzyme that protects the telomeres, makes them longer, was 30%, 30% more active with the group that actually did the meditation course. In another group at UCLA, they found that this group that uh, did 12 minutes of chanting meditation per day had a 43% increase of telomerase activity, protective enzyme activity for the telomeres to make them longer. Just phenomenal research. And she was like, we know now, and these are pilot studies, but the proof is still coming in that stress helps break us down. We sort of all sort of know that, but meditation is a powerful tool to lengthen the telomeres and actually protect us from all types of imbalances. And many studies have shown with, with regard to meditation that it supports mental activity, behavioral flexibility, emotional flexibility, cognitive function, blood pressure, a host of health indexes that I cite in the article associated with this video, and it's very, very important. I believe that all of us should meditate. I have posted my one minute meditation uh, video for free for years that people can watch. We actually have a, a course called the Transformational Awareness Technique, six meditations to emotional freedom. Where, and we give two of those, the first two lessons for free so people can at least get started. I would love that everybody first tries to meditate. And the reason why I created the Transformational Awareness Technique because I found lots of folks start it, they don't really know if they're doing it right, and they give up. They never really get the juice, the results. So I created six meditations so everybody can do it, everybody can be successful. And more importantly, I found was that when you meditate, you create a heightened level of awareness. The key is to take that awareness into action and change your life, change crazy old mental, emotional patterns of behavior in your brain and free yourself from doing the same dumb thing again and again and again. And that's what meditation is for. But I found very, few, I've never found a meditation course that actually told people what to do with the awareness that they got from the meditation. We know, of course, just meditating and stilling your mind is extremely valuable. It has great benefits on your telomeres, but does it change your life, your emotions, your patterns of behavior, the stress that you're under every day? And that's what we uh, sought to do with the transformational awareness technique. So please check out the free videos associated with that technique. See if you like it, get a gut feeling with it, and then take the six week meditation course and learn how to change your life. Thank you for listening. I'm Dr. John Biard. 
This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at lifespa.com.